So I'm currently on this new HP Omnibook with the Snapdragon X Plus. Things been wonderful, knock on wood. I said that last time, the first day I was using the uh, Book 4 Edge and uh, it bit the dust the very next day. So knock on wood, all the programs worked. I'm Before I even started, got this live stream set up. I got all my programs I need to run for my online businesses. All the programs I need to live stream to make graphics and do all this and make videos, do all that. Everything runs perfect. So I've been, I've been very impressed. Uh, this is, this is actually the cheapest Snapdragon X uh, machine you can buy. Five ninety nine. It was a steal. I was like, what? Uh, purchased it. Went through everything this morning and set up set up the whole thing. It's very snappy. Uh, Wi-Fi's strength is good. Ethernet signal's good. I have my uh, USB Type-C extender in. Everything's working great. Programs, no hiccups. Um, I've been very impressed. For $5.99, you can't beat it, right? And I just need something to get me through. Um, the I'm going to probably buy a more high-performance one right around the new year. So here in a couple months. I'm getting some mini PCs in that I'm going to use probably for desktop usage. And you might see me live stream on that. I just needed something to take outside the office, to take uh, outside the home, uh, from room to room, inside the home. And this little Omni book is perfect, man, with the Snapdragon X Plus. I can't tell the difference in performance at all between the X Plus and the X Elite. And best of all, battery life. Battery life on, here's the thing, and we'll get into the news in a second. Battery life, here's a, if you're interested in getting a Snapdragon X laptop, whether it's an X Plus or an X Elite, so much gets talked about the X Elite CPU, right? Because it's so powerful and this and that, and I agree. Um, however, the X Plus, look, again, I don't play games. Now, I do need it for video rendering. I do need something relatively powerful for video editing. I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to step up my video editing uh, skills, right? I do have them. I'm just so busy. I don't have time to do it, but I'm really going to try to put effort in my uploaded content where I'm not just going to record a video on my phone and then upload it. I'm going to try to do more visually appealing videos. So, uh, but getting back to the Snapdragon X machines don't overlook the x plus right it's the i think it has one core less than the x elite uh we can we can probably go back and look but uh probably waste of time look it's just a little less powerful however you get similar performance but a big boost in battery life and that's what i've noticed i've i've had it charged i fully charged it last night and I have not even plugged it in once. And I'm running my stream uh, right now with on just on battery power. <laughs> and I would never, ever do that with a Chromebook or even my HP Pro Book. Or we have a Lenovo uh, Yoga uh, here in the home. Would never consider running a live because because live streams uh, takes a lot of battery power, right? It is Chrome based, but I'm. I'm running videos, I'm running music, I'm running graphics, uh, up upstream. There's a lot of network connectivity uh, um, frequencies. You got a ton of stuff downloading to your to your PC, and then you're also uploading a stream. So your download and upload speeds are are both just maxed out when you do live streams, and it really drains the battery. And again, I haven't even considered plugging this thing in. So. I hope my estimations are right that battery life on this X, Snapdragon X Plus variant is going to be superb. So day one, it appears to my, my estimations are correct. I don't I don't know what it's on. What are we at? 61%. I'm at 61% battery life and I haven't had it plugged in. I did a full charge when I got home. Uh, usually on all my devices, no matter what they're at, I'll plug it in to 100%. I'll let it drain to zero, I'll let it max out that battery, and then go from there. So the battery life appears to be good, and, and, and I did a lot. I've been on my PC all morning, basically for the last six hours, and I'm at, what, 61%? Yeah, something like that. Six hours? Maybe four or five hours, but still, I'm looking at 
over 10 hours of screen on time with this laptop. I, I never get that on anything I've ever had. So, um, Carlos, thank you for joining us. You're not going to talk about the new G5 leak? Yeah, stay tuned. I got a, if you just joined us, I have a new, new, I have a, we're going to not necessarily redo the live stream, but I'm going to bring more of a news format. We're going to get to it in just a second. I just wanted to say hi to everybody in the chat. Um, it's going to look like your normal five o'clock news. I'm going to try to make it more visually appealing. Uh, I went back and listened to yesterday's live stream and it was just, ugh, I was embarrassed. Like it just looked so shitty. So I do apologize. I promise I'm going to put more effort into this. So it's going to look good. I, I have that in the lineup. So just stay tuned. Uh, trust me, we're, we're a, we're a pixel channel. So any pixel news that comes out, I'm going to carry it. Um, Daniel says he was playing with some of the Snapdragon X laptops at Best Buy. I was impressed with how snappy the entire interface feels. X86 machines feel uh, felt sluggish by comparison just getting around the desktop. I was noticing at the, this morning, I was just telling my wife, I was like, come in here for, come in here for a second. I mean, I'm a nerd. She is too, but I'm like to the max. And I was like, look how fast and snappy this thing is. Every program I open, every program I close, there's... On a lot, you're right. On a lot of the x86 machines and the laptops we use in here, are when you open a program, buffers for a little while, and then it, and then it'll open. The, everything is snappy, snappy, snappy. It that's what's most blown. And I I, ha, I didn't have the and this and that's with the plus. I have the X plus, and I didn't really have the uh, the Book Four Edge long enough to experience that because. With this new one, I didn't want the same thing to happen. Although I think it was a fluke with the with the last one, I was kind of farting around on it, this and that. But first thing I did this morning on this, man, I was loading programs. I was I was saying, okay, let me test this out. Let me put everything I use on a daily basis. Let me load it up on here, restarted it, got all the updates up to date, and then I was going. I uploaded. Uh, excuse me, I opened up each and every program I use, and I typically need thirty, at least 32 gigs. I've been very, very pleased. Here's something nobody talks about. I've been very impressed with the RAM management on these X Elite machines. Uh, how much RAM you... Where am I at right now? Well, I closed everything out just to run. I normally... When I run these live streams, I'll close everything out that I don't need and just run what I need for these live streams. Um, but I think I was only at, I checked earlier and out of, and this is the 16 gig variant out of, out of, uh, the, out of these 16 gigs, I think I was only using 57%, which is amazing. <laughs> Normally when I have everything opened up on a typical x86, I'm like on a 16 gig uh, uh, model. I'm 91%, 92%, 90. I mean, I'm maxed out. So, I think I think you know the interesting thing with these with these Snapdragon CPUs with these Orion cores. Uh, if you look up the, if you actually go and I think here's here's what's going on. If you look at the structure of this chip. The RAM is technically soldered on, right, to the motherboard. Now, you'll you'll hear that in reviews, but actually, technically, if you go... Because I went to go back and looked at the structure of the CPU. Technically, I don't want to say that's false. Technically, the DRAM, the L LPDDR5X RAM, is actually integrated into the CPU, which you do not see on a lot of x86 machines. The CPU, I'm um, excuse me, yeah, the CPU and the RAM are completely separate, right? That's how you can inter the some of the RAM is interchangeable. Some of it is literally soldered to the motherboard. With these Snapdragon chips, the RAM is actually inside the CPU, which allows for better transfer rates, better transfer speeds, better communication between the data and the random access memory. I think there's something to do with that, and I'm going to look into that more. Um, but I've never seen that before, where the RAM is literally connected to the CPU. Um, and I think that's where you're seeing a lot of this performance. I mean, again, I've, I normally need 32, and um, I bought it, because that's what I was wondering, because they do have a 32-gig variant of this device. Um, 
And I was like, you know, of course I can always return it, but I wanted to try this first to see if I could, because why buy a, because uh, I think 32 gig version, of 32 gigs of RAM of this, this was $5.99. This is a steal. Uh, brand new. I think the 32 gig was, it jumped up a lot. Right, because there was a special sale on this. Thirty-two gig of this book is probably eight ninety-nine, nine hundred bucks. So I was like, you know what? Let me try this, and if it doesn't work, I'll return it and get the thirty-two gig. I don't think I'm gonna need a thirty-two gig, uh, honestly. I've been blown away by the RAM management on on these Snapdragon machines. Very, very snappy, and that probably goes uh, uh, to show why these devices are so snappy. Right? It's because everything is integrated with each other right everything's right right it lined up perfectly synced up so i've i've been on this for a couple hours and i'm blown up well five hours and i'm blown away like this thing is it feels honestly it feels like like i'm using a phone like it's that snappy every program i pull up boom there's no lag there's no buffering nothing now will it get that to that point you know, a year from now, well, I'm probably not going to have this a year from now, but I may give it to my daughter. I don't know, but maybe, but time will tell. We'll just have to wait and see.